I am Rohit and today I would like to introduce you to the concept of passive solar heating. What better place to do it than in Ladakh and what better time than in the winters. Ladakh is situated in the northernmost part of India. It is a high altitude cold terrain. Altitude ranges between 3000 to 4000 meters. The winters are long up to 6 months. Can be very cold up to minus 35 degrees Celsius. But Ladakh is blessed with high solar intensity and very clear sunny days. Passive solar buildings are generally of three types. Direct gain systems, attached greenhouse systems and trombe wall systems. In the building you can see behind me, it's a combination of all the three systems. But a very important aspect of any passive solar building is having the orientation right to maximize solar gain. Out here in Ladakh, it is towards the solar south. In this building, the temperature averages at around 15 degrees Celsius when the outside is around minus 15 degrees Celsius in the winters. All passive solar buildings basically rely on three very basic principles. Uh, increased solar heat gain, proper thermal storage and heat loss reduction. To increase the solar heat gain, we orient the building right and we choose the right type of uh, passive solar system for example the ground floor that we saw is a attached greenhouse system that gives its occupants an added benefit of growing uh, winter plants which you do not get outside in this floor it's a combination of direct gain and a semi trom wall in direct gain sunlight directly enters your living space heating up your area and a semi trom wall gives you the added advantage of storing some of the energy in the day for your evening or late nights the second part is thermal storage you can understand it as a battery component of the building the walls the thick two feet walls act as these battery banks they charge in the day with the solar gain and discharge slowly at night giving the occupants a very thermal comfort to reduce the heat loss you insulate your building envelope properly and effectively design your building layout. For example, the southern spaces are the living spaces in this building and the northern spaces are non-living spaces like storage, stairways and corridors. Besides this, one of the major aspects for proper functioning of any passive solar building is the operational efficiency for example keeping the doors closed in the winters and operating the curtains and windows properly according to the climate outside is almost as important as the design of the building one of the major misconceptions about any passive solar building i often come across is that it might overheat in the summers which is wrong because in the summers the sun is at a at overhead at a very elevated angle and an overhang of around one or one and a half feet shades the sunlight and the sunlight does not hit either your glass or your tom wall and reduces your solar heat gain. Okay, that's a brief take on solar passive buildings in Ladakh. Uh, if you want to know more about Ladakh, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, thank you for watching.